Hello everybody, welcome to the layout. This video I'd like to introduce you to the NCE Lightit, a DCC lighting decoder that I'm using in various places on the layout. I came across the Lightit as a means of controlling a grade crossing. I know there are many different automatic grade crossing controllers. I've been looking for something to actually control the crossing manually. The reason for this is that I intend to exhibit the layout and mounting a switch on the front of the layout wouldn't really suit when I am controlling the layout from behind uh, in a train show or an exhibition. So I was looking for a a manual way of controlling the crossing with DCC. Uh, upon a web search I came across the NCE Lightit and it does have some grey crossing logic. So I shall show you that now. And as you can see I think that is actually quite a nice slow flash for a grey crossing. The lights fade in and out and I'm very pleased with how it's turned out. I also use a light it to control this Wolfers four-way traffic light. This is the slow flash just on the amber aspect. My gas station is also lit using a light it. The onboard LED is used to illuminate the kiosk. There are a couple of surface mount LEDs under the canopy and there is a further LED in the sign. Uh, the sign originally had an incandescent bulb in it. It's the Backman illuminated range. I removed that and put an LED in it so it would be controlled off the light it. The light it only puts out about three to five volts so a conventional bulb you can't use them, they, they don't light up. It is specifically for LEDs. The Red Owl supermarket is also lit just with a couple of small golden white LEDs. And these LEDs are controlled from a light it mounted in the restaurant with a small LED going through into the phone booth just to light that up. Another one of the effects you can have on a light it which they call mercury vapour. This allows street lights to prototypically come on very slowly, not to full brightness. As you can see the street lights are very slowly coming on now. The sort of brother to the light it, uh, NCU called the illuminator, that has plugs for the Woodland Scenics Just Plug lighting system and they do do quite a nice range of street lamps, albeit a little bit too pricey for, for my budget, but obviously they'd be absolutely perfect for that. Most of my light hits are set up as accessories, so they are either on or they are off. I may have adjusted some CVs to change the brightness, or I may have changed the uh, lighting effects, but they are essentially on or they are off. The light it actually ships in locomotive mode where you have three independently controlled lighting outputs. And that is what I've used on this Rapido bus. This is the standard model. The uh, premium one already comes with lights. Uh, this one didn't, so I have fitted lights to it. And on function zero, I have the headlights. On function one, I have some interior lights also fitted some passengers so they can actually see what's going on and on function 3 I have set up a turn signal. I had to remap this from function 2 uh, because function 2 on my DCC system doesn't latch um, as locomotives normally have the horn set to function 2 uh, it's not on permanently it doesn't latch so I remapped the functionality to function 3 so I now have a turn signal. Uh, the turn signal is actually using their lighting effect flashing beacon. I didn't want it to be exactly the same as the flash on the traffic lights. But with this independently lighting, I can actually 
have the headlights off and the interior lights off but the indicator on uh, for when I'm doing a daytime running session and then when I'm running the layout at night obviously I can turn on the headlights and the interior light of the bus independently. To wrap this video up that was a look at the NCE light it and just a few of the various light effects it can produce. There are 14 in total. Um, this is just the lighting effects that I have used, although there are other effects, uh, strobe, single strobe, double strobe, and a fluorescent flicker. I um, haven't used any of those, so I can't demonstrate those, I am afraid. But the decoder will also recognize DC. Um, you can actually access these functions in DC and have these lighting effects on your layout, even if you are not a DCC user. Um, to program, you just use the programming button and that will cycle through each effect in turn and remember your setting. So every time you uh, provide DC voltage, it will actually produce that effect. The brightness can be changed using the onboard potentiometer. So you don't need necessarily full brightness all the time. Uh, that can be set on the decoder. I purchased mine from Coastal DCC. They're available in three packs or six packs. Uh, I think you can also get a nine pack as well. Um, I found them very useful on the layout. And um, hopefully you enjoyed this little look at a few of the things that it can do. Thank you very much for watching.